Assalamualaikum. Hai, Assalamualaikum everyone. Dah start ke belum? Dah. <laughs> tak payah. <laughs> Stop. Hai. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, we are from group, group 10. And we will present about <coughs> um, the national response of Asi Sekret. Uh, my name is Emma Hakim. Uh. My name is Lusna. <laughs> And my name is Nurse Raya. So the question that we got is, uh, the switch in the circuit shown, uh, shown below has been in position X for a long time. Uh, at t equals to zero, the switch moves instantaneously to position Y. So the first sub question is find VC for t more or equals to zero. Okay, so for the first question, we need to find the VC for T equals to or more than zero. Right, so firstly, this is the general. Okay, so this is the general uh, equation for the for finding the VC. Alright, so we have V naught exponent power of uh, negative t over tau for t equals to or more than zero, right? So firstly, we need to find the tau. To find tau, we must use R C. R is the um, equivalent resistor. So to find the equivalent resistor, um, we must find the equivalent resistor here, right? So 240k. Um, parallel to 60k mm. So we get um, 48k ohm Then we plus with uh, 32k ohm Then we get 80k ohm This is for the equivalent resistor So then we find the C. Eh, oh, C is given as 0 0.5 uh, Fahrenheit. Alright, so then we just need to multiply the two um, RC given. Alright, so here we will get how 0 0.5. Multiply with 80k, then we will get mm, 0 0.04 for the tau. Then t divide by tau, we will get negative 25t. So the answer for a is b c equals to. So um, there will be not. The V0 is, as we know, in the general formula, Vc is equal to V0. So, how do we get the V0? The V0 is um, from here because um, the switch has been at the position X for a long time. So, the capacitor is charged with um, 100 volt. So, we know that the V0 is 100 volt. 100 exponent. Negative 25T volt for T equals to or more than zero. Alright. Right, so for the next question, we need to find the V naught for T equals to or more than uh, zero positive. So um, so we will use the voltage division rule. The resistor divided by equivalent resistor multiply with VC. Right, so the resistor here is Mm, 48k ohm divided by 80k ohm and multiply with the 100 exponent power of 25t alright so there we get the v o v naught t equals to Alright, but before that, how do we get this 48k? 48k is come from the parallel of 240k with 
60k as the V0 is here so we must find the equivalent here right so um, then still we do the math for this equation then we get um, 60 um, exponent negative 25t vote for t more than or equal to zero positive all right that's for the b um okay next uh the questions want us to find i note for t equals or uh, uh, more than zero positive so we have to use i note we have to use the Ohm's equation for finding I naught. So I over V I equals to V over R. So we have to use V naught T where we used to find it here. So we use this over sixty times times. 10 power of 3 why because because this one we have to use this one because we have to find the i note here oh i see so so the v note here is 60 exponent negative 25 t over 60 s times 10 to power of 3 uh, so we cut here and this one we transform to milli so exponent negative 25t milli amps so Ooh. we get the i naught okay 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 the next question d uh, the question wants the total energy dissipated in the 60 k k ohm resistor so in here but to get the energy, we have to find the power first. Ooh. So the equation for power for 60 kilo ohm is equals to uh, I squared R. But then I squared not squared R. The R is 60 kilo ohm. So we calculate. Uh, we. I know. I know. We put in I know and the resistor. So we solve. We get sixty. Sixty exponent negative fifty t. What? 40 milliwatt 40 more than equals to 0 plus since we have the power we can get the energy so the total energy dissipated in the 60 kilo ohm uh, the formula we can just integrate the power so we can power here T, T, T. So 60 50 T So we <laughs> We integrate The exponent negative 50 We get uh, exponent negative 50 T Over negative 50 From 0 To infinite so we solve it, we get, um, we, zero. Zero minus. Uh, <laughs> so the solution is 0 minus 1 minus 50, so the final answer is 1.2 millijoule. So that's the, the energy, total energy dissipated in the 60 kilo ohm. Okay, that's all from group 10. I hope we learned something from this question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.